The walls are closing in, and there's nothing Wizards of the Coast can do to stop it. If Wizards of the Coast was hoping that 2023 was going to be better for them, I think they're in for a rude awakening. Welcome back, everyone. MTG Moxman here, and thanks again for hanging out with me on the channel today. For all the new people hitting that subscribe button, help me get close to 16,000 subscribers. Thanks again for helping out the channel and hitting that subscribe button. To my regular viewers who tune in each and every day, thanks for being here, guys. And of course, these videos aren't even possible without the support of people on my Patreon and YouTube membership member. Thanks again, everyone. Remember how important everyone is out there. It's awesome. Thanks again for that support. For Wizards of the Coast looking back on 2022, there's nothing to say other than it was a failure. On so many levels, this company has failed. They failed to understand their player base, their consumer base, failed to understand the needs of LGSs, distributors. They just failed all around. There's no other way of looking at it. And it's going to get worse. With all the stores I speak with, with all the players I'm talking to. Well, let's start with the stores. Most of the stores I've spoken to are cutting back on Magic products by 50 to 70% of anything they order. That's how far they're cutting back. They refuse to take a bath on anything Wizards gives them knowing they're going to dump it on Amazon. So faith and confidence have been lost. We've talked about this. The PR nightmare the Wizards gave themselves, it's of their own making. They've got to feel right now, like the walls, like in the background of my thing here, it's just closing in. Because they haven't seen the numbers yet, but they know it's bad. They're hearing it from all sides at this point. They're being yelled at. And they don't know what to do. I mean, they know what they should do. But they're not going to do that. They're like frozen in the headlight. They just don't know what to do at this point, but it's going to get worse. The singles market, guys, it's doing really well. Every store I talk to now, anything in singles is doing fairly well. From people buying haywire mites to, to going out there and buying their first shieldred to their first dual land, getting a metal worker or giving an archaeologist, whatever. The singles are doing well. But sealed product which is the bread and butter of what Wizards gives them, other than Secret Lair, which is still another form of sealed product, it's going badly. And it's their fault. They have no one to blame but themselves at this point because they haven't done anything to correct it. Most of the stores I've spoken to are telling me they're not increasing their budgets to cover more products. So they will actually cherry pick the products and just order less of them. If they spent $50,000 last year, they're spending 50 this year. Even if the prices go up, that's what they can afford to spend. If they're a million dollar store, they're probably not spending more than a million on their budget. And that's all they're going to spend. They're not going to spend more. And in a lot of these cases, they're spending a lot less. They've moved on to other things. They're putting money in the bank because they've had to lay off staff. They've had, they've had to... I don't know how to describe this to you guys. It's bad. It's really bad. Laying off staff, cutting work hours, closing store hours earlier. These are all signs of not just bad choices by wizards, but a bad economy. Where things can go not the way you want them to. Not in all cases, but collectible markets are one of the easiest to hit, aren't they? It's one of the easiest places to get us. Because it's a hobby. It's not food that you have to have. It's not your hydroelectricity, gas in your car that you have to pay for. Those are necessities. Hobby things get hurt first. First things to go and get closed down. If you can support your LGS, great. But not everyone's that lucky. So the LGS has had to make choices. And sometimes it's cutting staff, it's cutting hours, cutting what they buy. That's just the way it's going to be for a while. But a lot of this could have been avoided. The 30th anniversary collectors was just the, the final tipping point for how players have been feeling for a while. 
and now that was the stores. Think about the players right now. They got to put food on the table. They got rent to pay. They have to get transportation to and from work. Hobby is the last thing they're going to think about when things get tight. And Wizards of the Coast has done nothing to make the game affordable enough for those players to want to stay in. They can. I guarantee they can. But they haven't done it yet. And that kind of ill will toward your consumer and player base, the idea your players don't feel like they're being heard, that's coming back to bite you. Right? Consumers don't forget. They don't forgive very easily. You've already lost a litany of players of the player base have been shed away and left. Speculators have run for the hills. So all Wizards of the Coast has left is the core audience probably at this point. People like myself and all the players I know out there who enjoy playing the game, collecting it for collecting's sake, and just having a good time. They don't care if the cards go to zero. They want to have a good time. Those are the ones you have left, and they're not going to pay top dollar for every product. And you're not doing anything to give that player a break. To say, yes, we know, we understand. We're asking you to put some water in your wine, we're going to put some in ours as well. I have all these notes here of all this stuff I wanted to talk about. And you know what? It really doesn't matter. Because I don't think Wizards right now is capable of doing the changes that are necessary. Because they don't feel it's necessary yet. They know it's bad. But until some heads start to roll, until shareholders at Hasbro speak up and say something about why are your revenues down by 50% year over year. And it's probably coming. The Amazon dumps aren't going to save the bottom line in the end. I still don't believe that. I know why they're doing it, but I don't think it's going to save them. And I think by the end of 2023, that's when the shift will come. You know, this is that time of year when everyone should be celebrating. Celebrating. I'm sure when they planned that 30th anniversary, they had some master plan for 2022. To just rake in the dough, get giant lawn rakes out and bring that money in. And... Players walked up and smashed those rakes and said something else. YouTube content creators put this stuff out there, letting other players know, and the bombshell happened. 30th anniversary blew up in your face. It's not a celebration for everyone. It was a celebration for your richest fans. So many mistakes were made. Bad PR. Bad ideas. And you listen to the bad ideas. So now as we roll this out at the end of the year, and the walls are closing in, Revenues are going to be due. What are you going to do, Wizards? You know, like, what are you going to do? I don't expect prices to be lowered. Companies generally never lower a price on a product. Okay? They themselves don't. There can be deals and sales through whoever they've sold it to, but their bottom line generally stays the bottom line. So, expect that to stay where it is. Could they give a flash deal? Sure, they can give a flash deal. But don't expect it. Don't. Don't think that's going to be the way they operate. I think they'll shed products. They're going to shed some staff. Some heads are going to roll if the product lines are really doing as poorly as I think they are. And no, I don't have any hard evidence other than the LGS order forms saying how low they are. And I'm talking so low from where some of these stores used to order, from the stuff I used to get and see. So low. It's bad. A lot of these stores are actually saying singles are doing fantastic. We're happy. We wish it was like this all the time. But that's a shift in the player base saying there's no value in sealed anymore. No sense in buying a box and cracking if there's no value there. And don't forget, that could flip later. That can still come around to bite us later on. But that's a conversation for another day. Wizards, you deserve to reap what you sow. You set the crash course. You set the collision. You said on autopilot, this is what we're going to do. We're not overprinting. Everything's fine. Players are just they're just sensitive right now with the way the economy is. They're just they're a little, little price sensitive. But don't worry. We're going to raise those revenues. We're going to get them 50% higher in the next few years. We're going to find a way. I wonder how that's going to work out for them. I wonder how that's going to pan out. I realize that, you know, There'll be some players who will buy a lot of these products. Sure, they're happy. They like them. Great. But there's also a lot of players out there who are not going to buy them. 
And because they're not buying, because some people are actually just boycott anything new and are only buying singles right now, that means the money's generally just going straight to an LGS. Sure, somebody cracked a box somewhere along the line to feed the monster, but it was a lot less than you'd think. From all the players, even I personally know, including myself, who used to crack so many boxes, guys. 2023 is right here. You guys are watching this here. You're like, ah, it's 2023, Mox, man. That's right. Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year, Wizards. I can't wait to see what happens in the 2023 year. I'll be here. We'll be talking about it. The fans of my channel are all going to be having a great conversation. I'm looking forward to it. And guys, thanks for hanging out today. Thanks for being here at the end to see what's going to happen. Put those comments down in the comment section. What are the biggest changes you think are coming for 2023 for Wizards of the Coast? What is going to happen to them? Not, not hopes and dreams. What do you think is actually going to happen? Guys, put it down there. I want to read it. Have a great day today. Look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow for another video. Wizards, the walls are just closing in. Hey guys, this is that moment where I get to thank all the fantastic patrons on this channel who make these videos possible. You are the supporters of the channel who make everything happen here. Thanks again for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right. You got to the Emerald City. You look past the curtain. And you said, what's going on at the end of these credits? What happens back here? Welcome to a new year of 2023 where we get to sit back and see what Wizards of the Coast is going to do. How much are they going to squirm? What's going to happen? I don't care. It's going to be entertaining no matter what goes on. they got great products coming up. I'm still hunting down my reserve list cards. I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling positive, man. We are going to have some fun. I know it's kind of a bleak video. Can't help myself, guys. They make it so easy sometimes with the mistakes they've made. Hurting the stores like they've been doing lately is really starting to cheese me off. Um, you know, I, I was uh, there the final emails with one of the stores that was closing up. And it was pretty hard to hear that guy, Chris, go over everything, where he's like saying the store closed up and he sold off the rest of the inventory through, through some other companies. And you're just like, wow, just gone. It wasn't a huge store, but it was his life's dream. And to see a dream squashed like that with price increases, uh, inflation, stuff going on in the world, just it's crazy, man. But a lot of it had to do because he couldn't sell boxes anymore. The boxes brought trade-in of singles. Singles brought out sales. You know what I mean? Like Kind of like a nice little wizard's mess with that stuff, and that's it. But you know what? On to bigger and brighter things this year. Thanks again for being here, guys. Thanks for being here at the end. You guys can put a boomstick in the comments section. Boomstick 2023. Because we're moving on and up. We're going to see what crazy stuff happens this year. And we can dream of making it to 20K. That's where I'm going, man. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for being here. I'll see you guys soon.